of y'all. Rob here with Martech Gaming, wanting to get into another or let's play a Cyberpunk. It may not be the most popular on my channel, but I enjoy the game, and by golly, I want to play a couple of rounds. So let's go, shall we? Job simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. So my question is, how the hell does he get hey, ahead? Hey, AV, over here, Chum. Not your Chum. Yeah, sure. Just trying to be friendly. Not Chums, not friends. Biz, now. Okay, see that garage right there? Van's inside. You go in, grab the tech, get out, we split it 50-50. Clear? No, don't like the split. Two-thirds for me, one for you. Know what? Sure. You're all right, V. A pro, a pal. Chum like you is hard to find in this town. Okay, and I go. Head on a swivel, right? You got it. Knockoffs, too. Had real great intel, that Kirk. Like always, actually. But hey, could strike out on your own. Mm -hmm. Open up a stand in Kabuki, or maybe. Implants. Fucking Militech wear. And shove these duds right up his ass. <laughs> Shit. Now a firefight. Wow, the fun's just getting started. Have a good time, V. Tell anyone to scrape him up and put him under? Hmm? No one to tell. <laughs> and thus, the end of a sad fuck. Ooh, wait. What the hell's up with the controls like? The hotfix screw with the controls? Let's do this. Want to attempt to fill their shoes? Ooh, he's a mess. We drop weapons over here. Oh, 
hope everybody's doing amazing lately. I am the stuck. I am the bad chick. <laughs> Oh, we're picking fist fight with these guys. Bitch, <laughs> please. Oh, you haven't figured out I've had, got a few upgrades since the last time I played. Oh, shit, I'm being called. I gotta call Sandra Dorset, who you rescued at the beginning of the game. V, your V, right? You find the data bank? Yep. Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was gonna go looking for it myself after. <sighs> I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. What's wrong with this guy? Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Gem Rats. True. But who knows what the scabs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. I've got bigger fish to fry. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data back to my apartment. I'm sending you the address now. Thanks. Oh, oh shit. Wasn't paying attention. Not too far away. She's a Watson Logan. This is a pretty cool follow-up to the uh, to the opening story. After you get through the opening scenarios, like the first mission, you start. You had to rescue Sandra. Sandra, it's me, V. Got your data bank. Sandra, you in there? Are you alone? Did anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on. Don't like leaving the door open. I'm still worried about the scavs. My uh friend told me your memory'd be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about um no, no it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank. Here. Don't worry, it's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? All right, you got me. I looked inside. I know everything. That's what I thought. So what's your next move? To congratulate you, of course. Anyone who hacks Night Corps earned my respect. Oh. Well, I, um, thank you. You know, if they end up going through with it, then... The net will become even more dangerous. You were worried they'd find out about you. Exactly. Use an AGI to condition workers' minds. Mm, that's some supervillain shit right there. Eventually, it'll let them control anyone they want. 
That's what scares me the most. Glad to see there are runners who are finding old school dirt like this. I just hope it gets put to good use. Oh, it will. Don't you worry about that. Here, what we agreed on, plus a little extra. People like us need to stick together, right? Thanks, and good luck. a problem no with it. Hmm. How do I get over there? that animation. <laughs> Rob your place blind. Hey, Claire. Hell of a machine. Cool. You know your shit and you've got good taste. <laughs> I like the little bunny rabbit. Meat on the beast. Front. My pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want me. Thanks. So what's this about? Need a driver. Thought you might do. A driver, huh? With you as my navigator? Not exactly. This kind of racing involves drivers and gunners. So, you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? <laughs> I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it, too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. I trust you're capable behind the wheel? Sure. Claire, I'll be your driver. Okay, we got four races. First one's in city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. When do we start? There's a qualifying ladder. We need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three in at least two rallies gets our ticket stamped. Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. You hear the roar of overtuned monsters? That's the place. See you there. Okay, gotta wait a day. Well, I thought I'd be racing immediately. in the bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. V. Hey, Go back off. Hey, hey, you're busy here. here. Uh, you heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. Really think you're fast enough with that blade? Really? The way I see it, be a smoking hole in your chest before your neurons even light up. But hey, nothing like a little experiment, right? Hey, come on, Pedro. Not worth it. Don't work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo. Fucking punk! Oh, what? What just happened? What? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? 
Yeah. You would have caught a beating. Worse. This fucking town, these people, just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could've ended badly if you hadn't stepped in. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you, then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. Damn sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night. She wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things. But with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh, hmm. she had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gong question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Okay. Fine, I'm in. Seedy bars, betrayal, a beguiling woman. Sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints. But now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story. An unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done? I'm trying to focus. Looks like she had a pink shirt. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. The woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up, I'm gonna fucking puke. Narrate that. This mission is a bit on the slow side. It's the woman of... passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, what did I ever do to you? Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know. The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. sure nobody followed you husband sent me suspected something what? see he was right wait no it's it's not like that i i can explain go on then let's hear it okay for for one thing he's not my input 
He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know. I, I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father. Just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time. And, and now that I'm expecting again, it... Oh, it, it, it wasn't... It wasn't planned. Please... Uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Stuff here. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So, my son. That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Her own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever, it's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway. Thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. And to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's my life. Finally making some sense. Last time I tried to punch somebody through somebody else. Unfortunately, that's my alarm going off. Uh, well, that's it for this Let's Play. Appreciate y'all coming and watching. As always, you know, 
like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think. And uh, if you're not having any fun, you ain't doing it right. Take care.